Hey Taurus, this is your reading for May 2019. Um, if you were joined to the title and how you feel and your issue with them matches these two, which I'm going to clarify all these and I'm going to do a second three card spread after I clarify all these. Yeah, what did I say? Clarify all of these. But, um, okay, let's get started. Y'all know this is for you after these two. Like, if it's for you or not. Um, so if this is for you, how you feel towards them is, this is the lovers. I only pulled the first cards for time's sake. But this is the lovers. So you feel like this is, with how, I mean, the lovers could mean you have choices, but I don't see that. I don't get that right now i see this as like a very revered or like sacred protected union like this is what you see this as sacred guarded like see the two lions over here the pillars like you definitely feel like you two came together for a bigger purpose like you were led together by a higher power but let me clarify all these but your issue hold on before I even clarify your issue is like you're not really impressed with what you're getting from them like he just looked not impressed and it's the seven of pentacles which is about waiting for a return on your investment waiting to see something back equal or greater than what you put into a situation but the united force is the nine of cups so for both people being on the same page with each other would be like a dream come true and that's for both people because this is the energy um crowning the union in may Okay, let me clarify all of these stuff. For Taurus. Elaborate on how Taurus feels for this person, the issue with them, how this person feels for this Taurus, the issue with Taurus, and the crowning energy. Two sixes. Hmm. Okay. So two sixes. So how you feel with the six of swords? You want there to be clear, balanced communication. Like you want both people to put in the same amount of effort as far as communicating clearly and trying to work things out. Or you want them to speak on how they feel towards you. Or be more positive in your conversations. I'm not sure. But your issue with them, the devil and the seven of pentacles, so. Your issue with them being, I already said, you feel like you're waiting on receiving something. Maybe you feel like they're into things that are not healthy for them which is keeping them away from which is what is making them not give you what you deserve in the relationship like they could have a drug problem or alcohol or you could feel like they do 
or either they are fearful or too caught up in things that are not worth giving energy to, you feel like? You feel like they're giving time, effort, and energy to the wrong things, pretty much. The Seven of Pentacles and the Devil. Their issue with you, or how they feel towards you. Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. I feel like they think you are on a different level than them. Maybe out of their league. Because nine of pentacles, they see you as confident and able to manifest whatever you want for yourself. The two of wands is about having a plan for like having a bigger plan in a bigger picture for your life like not they see you as somebody who's not going to settle somebody who like they would have to get with your way of doing things or like it's not going to work their issue with you being the fool in the page of wands so they feel like you won't take risks with them. Like you won't be spontaneous and like childlike with them. They want you to be more playful, maybe more sexual, or just like do more exciting risky things with them I'm not gonna keep repeating myself so <laughs> I just feel like it's something else but I keep getting the same thing because I'm it's just two cards I mean, kind of energy like I said I already said with the nine of cups means but with the eight of pentacles I feel like it's both people see that you both have to put in a lot of work and dedication will show their dedication through actions in time, like over time, and for in order for this to be like the dream relationship. But both people wouldn't want it more with anybody else right now. But both people see that there needs to be some well, a lot of things worked on because the I mean the eight of pentacles is about slow and steady but continuous like labor or work so um let me do this past present future spread for this situation well, it's going to be the past, the, how this person expressed their feelings towards you in the past, in the present, and in the future, if the energies continue, I mean, continue the way that they are. Of course, everybody has free will, so I'm not using this deck. Taurus. This person expresses their feelings for Taurus in the past, present, and future. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know, Taurus. Like, I don't know if that made any sense. I'm going to watch it over.
feel like I just did that. Flowers. Okay, this flipped over, so okay, pass. Present. Future. Okay. So in the past, this person showed their emotion how they feel towards you by being um, active or like telling you, making plans with you, like letting you know they plan on you doing you two doing something together in the future. In the past, if this is for you, or either they share with you their dreams or their long term vision for their life or for the connection their actions towards you currently is uh, ow <laughs> sorry uh, I'm a clown but there, this is also a Taurus card the Hierophant um, so this is about commitment or dedication to a certain way of living it could be about church or being dedicated to not going to church or like being dedicated to the occult or whatever a person chooses to dedicate their life or the way that they act in life to. Or it could be about someone being stubborn and stuck in their ways. Like, so that's how they could be acting, acting towards you. Maybe they don't want to compromise right now or either they said they want to commit to you or they're showing their commitment to you one of those things in the near future their actions or the way they show their emotions towards you will be the seven of pentacles which is like not up to par like seven of pentacles is maybe they'll be waiting on you waiting to see what moves you make or what you want to do in the future I don't know but I'm going to pull from the energy oracle deck for Taurus for the energy that would be most beneficial for you to address or take on like in general Taurus Taurus Patience. Okay. I know we were just talking about waiting. But I, number 16, I'm going to read from the book. I don't use these cards often, so. Well, this particular deck, I don't use often, so. I see patience, peaceful presence, letting go of desperation. Okay. So maybe don't wait. Maybe focus on something else. But it says, this card shows a beautiful angel holding a, a clock in the stillness of the winter. Her quiet, peaceful energy is telling you that it's time to release the old urgency and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. When this card is upright, it is telling you to relax and let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. Don't try to force your will on only one option. Hmm. So maybe explore your options, Taurus. Okay. It says, when you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need or to make you happy, you are blocking many other potential solutions for coming your way. I mean, from coming your way. Let go of the anxiety and be flexible. Be patient, open, and creative. Choose to be peaceful in the present. The universe has more options than you may be aware of. Quiet your mind, broaden your perspective, and let them come through. So, um, if this was for you, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Peace.